What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the absolute value of negative numbers. Okay, so the basic concept here to understand is when you wanna find the absolute value of a number, all you really wanna know is how far away from zero is that number. Okay, so if I asked you what's the absolute value of two? Well, how far away is two from zero? So if we had a number line right here, right? Here's zero, and then we go one, two, three, right? One, two, three. So two is one, two spots away from zero, right? So the absolute value of two is just two. All right, what if I asked you what's the absolute value of negative two, okay? So let's go back to our number line. So we have negative one, negative two, negative three, right? Negative two, negative three. Okay, how far away from zero is negative two. Well, let's see, it's one, two, right? So the absolute value of negative two is also just two, okay? So when it comes to absolute value, we don't care if we're on the negative side or the positive side. All we wanna know is how far away from zero is the number. So for that reason, your answers here are almost always going to be positive, okay? Or what if I asked what is the absolute value of negative 100. Well, how far away from zero is negative 100? It would just be 100 spots, okay? Now, I told you most of the time your answers are going to be positive, right? And in all these examples so far, our answers have been positive. But here's some examples of when that might change, okay? Now, let's do this one real quick again. So the absolute value of negative five. Okay, so as we established, the absolute value of negative five would just be five, right? But if I put a negative sign out here in the front, well, then your answer would also be negative, okay? Because as you can see, this negative sign is not inside or it's not in between these two absolute value bars, right? This negative sign is in between these two absolute value bars, right? So this one disappears, but this one out here in front is not in between these two, so it stays. Okay, so again, if we had the absolute value of negative 69, well, this would just be 69. Okay, so as you can see, this negative sign right here disappeared, right? So that's why we just have positive 69, but if I have a negative sign out here in front that is not in between these absolute value signs, this one stays, okay? So we keep it right there. So this would be negative 69. Okay, and last one just for good measure. So again, if we had the absolute value of 420, okay? The absolute value of 420 would just be 420, right? But if we had this negative sign out here in front, it is not inside of these absolute value bars, right? So since it's on the outside, it stays. So we have negative 420. All right, guys, so that's how you find the absolute value of negative numbers. I hope it was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still got any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a whole pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.